Boom, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? We are back again with another freaking video and this one right here is all about Ariana all the way from Love is Paradise and her sperm donor, Sherloin. Yes, I didn't really think long and hard about what I was going to tie to him. Sperm donor, Sherloin. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, let me just get into the nitty and gritty of why we are here right now, why you have clicked on this video. As you can see on your screens right now, there are screenshots of Ariana's Instagram where she has come out to call out Sherlock. Now, here's the thing though, ladies and gentlemen, before I even get into it, I've already seen this season on Discovery Plus. I've already reviewed this season on this channel, but for some reason they've taken over Discovery Plus and now it's on TLC. I just don't understand. But here's the thing though, ladies and gentlemen, because I've seen it and I've made videos on it, I've always said that this guy is a deadbeat dad. He is not a father to the slightest. He is pretty much a sperm freaking donor and probably a sperm donor to multiple other children around the world that he probably knows about but neglects as well. Because he does clearly say in the show, spoiler if you haven't seen the whole show of course, spoiler, he clearly does say in the show that uh, well he has a hobby of, well not a hobby but you know, he can't help himself. He doesn't know how to commit to just one woman and the reason why he does his job is because he gets a chance to pretty much fling around with as many females as possible that comes into Jamaica. And that is why I have always assumed that maybe this guy's got more kids that we just don't know about. But Ariana has come out to call him out and rightly so. We don't see or speak to him because he refused to send $40 a month for Odin from the, 40, from the 20K US he made. And because he constantly drags me on social media when I do nothing but leave him alone, I mean... I bet you do. But anyway, we'll continue. <laughs> mind, mind you that he is a narcissistic who loved, um, who loved bond me when we first met. Two, he wanted to marry me after three months and basically begged to have a kid with me. So let's not get it twisted. He's mentally ill. Now that is actually very new news and very interesting news to be honest with you because uh, I don't know if that's necessarily true because on the show, it was never portrayed as if Sherlin begged for her to be in his life. But um, that's what she says, she says, but guess what, ladies and gentlemen, that was just the beginning. It gets a bit more interesting. As you can she see, she also posted, some people who watch the show are idiots. You realize I do nothing but mind my own business and Odin sperm donor does nothing but constantly drag him on social media. I haven't spoke to him. I haven't spoke to or about him in months and he still talks about me. A mentally and physically abusive 40 year old man who does nothing for his son. He's still worried about me and I'm and what I'm doing. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just acknowledge that she said that he's 40 years of age. On the show, from what I remember, he's betrayed as 35, I believe. So interesting how TLC and him have obviously lied about his age. Because look at it this way. You can't tell me that TLC did not know his real age because if they didn't know his real age, then that clearly means TLC did no background check on him. And we know how TLC loves to not do their background checks on nobody. And that's how, that's how a lot of the cast end up being in prison or in some sort of scandal or madness. Then again, TLC, the learning channel is literally learning about exploitation in so many different freaking ways. But nonetheless, though, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue. <clears throat> And at the bottom, he says, congratulations to them. We are so happy for him. I'm a mother. I'm a teacher. I'm more mature than he will ever be. Um, Odin did not, uh, 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 my, my apologies. Odin did no go his wedding and won't ever see him again. But Odin is, in, is Jamaican and will always know that without his dad around, we will always come back to Jamaica. I just pity him so much. He is so embarrassing because Odin did come out a few months ago to announce that he had a new lady in his life. And he was glowing about it quite a lot to, you know, try and trigger a reaction out of Ariana. And that reaction never really came. It did, but it didn't. You know what I'm saying? So good on her for not really getting triggered by him and his antics. But either way, though, ladies and gentlemen, as far as I'm concerned, I think there's always going to be a matter where when it comes to the story, it's always going to be a he, she, he say, she say. But I believe that, to be honest with you, from what I saw from the season itself in particular, I'm going to side with Ariana, even if some of the things that she says, I'm not too sure if they're true or not. But the reason why I'm going to side is because Sherlock's actions throughout this series, in my opinion, justify that this man had no intentions of actually wanting to be with her. He just wanted to bed her and also give her a child. And then once he gave her a child, he pretty much didn't do much of an effort to try and really, you know, 
be there for the child. I mean, look at this way. Even when she flew all the way to, to oh, I don't know what episode you guys are on, but spoiler alert again. Even when he flew, even though, even when she flew to Jamaica with Odin, so he can see his son, I believe, for the first time, maybe second time. <sighs> okay, he gave us this storyline that he was prepping for the arrival of his son, Odin. How he was doing the house, and he was doing this, he was doing that. But he wasn't really doing too much. And even when Ariana was there, hmm, I wonder which money was spent. Was it Ariana's money? Or was it Sheldon's money? Hmm. Well, either way, ladies and gentlemen, in case you have not seen this season number two, just you wait until they get to the part where they meet Sherline, Sherlin's mother, and Ariana. Oh, yeah, and Ariana's mother. Oh, yes, yes. That scene there is golden. Golden. Sherlin, boy, did he melt. <laughs> but I have actually reacted to that on this channel anyway, if you dig what I'm saying. But either way, if you have if you want to just fast forward yourself and watch the whole season, it's actually on this channel right now, of course, with my reactions, of course. But uh I'm just saying you can watch it all right now rather than wait for the season to be finished if you dig what I'm saying. But nonetheless, though, ladies and gentlemen, the question is this though. I think it's good that Ariana is still going to take Odin to Jamaica. And I believe that actually Jamaica right now as we speak. And she's still going to allow her son to be a part of, to, to, to experience his roots where he's from and be a part of the culture. That is absolutely phenomenal. Now, at the end of the day, is she making the right choice by literally cutting him off completely? If you ask me personally, yes, because I don't really believe that anyone should deserve to be around their child if they do not actually make the effort to be around their child. If they're not being financially supportive, if they're not being supportive in any other way in terms of communication, honestly, 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 if you're not really doing it, well, then you don't need to be there. Unless, of course, there is the other part where maybe Ariana is purposely blocking him, which is something that Shadow would probably say. Whether that is true or not, who knows? Either way, this is a man that, to be honest with you, once he has a child with his new woman, if he do have a child, he's probably going to forget that Odin even exists anyway, if he, has, if he hasn't forgotten already. Yeah, that's some serious accusations. But hey, ladies and gentlemen, we learned so many new things here, but the main one today was that Sherlin is actually 40 years, of age, 40 years of age and not 35. Very interesting. TLC, you do such a great job with your um, background checks, shall I say. Yeah, right. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like the button, share the video, and comment down below. Come on now, let's not mess about. Come on now. <laughs> okay, whatever. We are done, and we are out. Peace. Oh, oh.